hello everyone welcome to forex trade one so today we are uh, preparing this video to understand that uh, what are the three uh, tools that we mainly focus on our uh, trading strategies while creating a, a trading strategy almost we have reached to the 28th strategy and uh, specifically uh, related to euro usd pair uh, uh all the strategies are uh, like highly important so we are focusing on three tools right now and uh, these the uh, most important tools and uh, one of a key factor we can say or the focus tools that we consider while creating a strategy so we'll give a name of the tools and we'll show here that uh, how this all the tools are connected here and uh, wha how we can use it okay so the first one as you can see on your screen this is the first one that's a strength indicator which uh, we use it to select uh, each pair currency uh, uh, strength and the volume to see the uh, how potential uh, it is currently in the market and whether it is a strong or a weak to buy or sell so this is our the first one very first important thing uh, strength indicator strength meter it is showing uh, as per the pair and uh, individual as well the second one as you can see this bar this supply and demand bar so that we consider a supply and demand for the second confirmation all these are for second confirmation let's say uh, once we get a confirmation from a strength meter after then for a re-verification it is used and that is a supply and demand and the third one is our 20 in 1 indicator this the third one as you can see this one is uh, 20 in 1 almost uh, we have prepared all the videos where we have explained uh, these tools and important for these tools but uh, particularly for this video it becomes very useful and uh, very necessary that we explain that how we consider uh, such methods so the first thing it will be a strength meter second one as i said supply and demand and the third one is a 20 in 1 indicator okay now uh, let's understand with the live example yes so here you can see right now that uh, euro usd it is showing a 6.6 .6. Just for example, 6.4, 6.5, it is showing right now. We have selected a Euro USD chart, and uh, our recent solo Euro USD strategy also we have launched. So on that also, same thing is applicable, and we have focused on these tools. So we'll understand one by one. Euro USD 6.4, 6.5, it is showing. USD 3.3 which shows euro is stronger usd is weak right now and it is giving a good condition to buy euro usd right now this will become a first confirmation to uh, have a trade offer by euro usd for the second confirmation we will see the supply and demand and uh, as you can see from the current market price Okay, the current level it is showing 1820 uh, near and we got the uh, this uh, demand option okay uh, supply and demand both it is showing right now and uh, as per the support and resistance let's talk about support and resistance okay? so this one is the support bar we call it a support uh, uh, demand uh, support bar and demand bar this is the support bar from here we are getting near 1.18070 so this just for a double verification uh, nearly 1.18070 18060 
it will be a double confirm to uh, have a buy order for euro usd and the third confirmation that we are getting is from 20 in one indicator as you can see and that too uh, we have already received here third confirmation so likewise we can get a three confirmation and uh, uh, it will make it a very easy and very accurate trade uh, after having a three confirmation like this i will highlight it again uh, particularly for 20 in one this one is uh, the third condition that should be a favorable and this one was the second one and this one is the first one okay? so it becomes a very uh, useful and accurate once we have this three confirmation at one time and the trade will be uh, very profitable for that time okay and now uh, let's talk about how we decide a lot size Okay, because you can see that we have a different different uh, other strategies also available let's say a hedge pair is there three pair hedge pair five pair hedge pair eight pair hedge strategy is there hexa strategy is there panta strategy is there but uh, particularly how we decide that uh, on what basis uh, we have to use these tools and how we have to calculate the lot size as well okay so uh, i have taken an example from the euro strategy where the euro usd trades are mostly taken and on basis of that we can see the three strategy example right now on euro let's say particularly we are using only these tools only but in a different different strategies the first one we have marked is a stop loss and tp the second one is a grading strategy and the third one is a martingale strategy okay now a stop loss and tp if we are using okay that strategy will be a very safe strategy and there will be almost no risk at the capital uh, we can say very low risk okay so the return will be four to five percent of uh, capital only every month so the return roi will be four to five percent but a very safe strategy and we will be using a lot size also in in accordance to the capital where the capital will remain very safe and the return will be also lower the second one uh, as you can see on your screen the 10 to 20 percent ROI which is a grading strategy okay and the risk will be 5 percent of the capital where as per the grading method it will be uh, uh, buying or selling it will be keep on the uh, adding the position okay doesn't matter the lot size will remain same but the number of the position will be keep on adding so grading strategy can achieve 10 to 20 percent of the return with a five percent risk and the third one is 25 to 60 percent return that's a martingale strategy uh, with a risk of a 25 to 30 percent okay and lot size will be kept on increasing as per uh, the uh, like a uh, uh, supportive uh, confirmation we get from these tools so it completely depends on which strategy you are using but lot size it may differ because as we are choosing different different strategy it will uh, differ as per the chosen risk pattern but these tools as uh, we are focused on number one number two and number three it will remain same useful and in our solo euros euro usd strategy also we have explained the same things so i hope uh, this all the structure is completely clear that how we have attached this in one chart and how we are using this in a different different strategy as well but the key factor the focused tools will remain same thank you so much for watching this video